All right, guys. So we did all six centers, right? There they go. And now it's time to work on our edges. This is the final step before we can solve it like a three by three. Okay. So first, it's time to arbitrarily pick an edge. If you're really good, you can look to see which is going to be easiest to solve. But we'll save that till you get more advanced. When you're just learning, just pick any edge. And we're going to start with that one. So let's say this one. To solve an edge, I usually look at which piece is in the middle. Oh, again, the definition of an edge is the set of three pieces on the edge of the cube. They does not include the corners. The three pieces in between the corners. So these three. These three. These three. And so on. Okay? So we're going to pick any one edge. Say this one. I look at the center piece of that edge. This one happens to be green orange, right? Now, if you look, there's going to be obviously two other green orange edge pieces. One that goes here and one that goes here. You'd think they're the same type of piece, but they're actually mirror images of each other. So the one that's supposed to go here cannot go here. If the one that's supposed to go here is in this spot, it's actually going to be reversed where green is going to go here, green would be here and orange would be here when you'd want it to be the other way around to match with this one. Okay, I hope that made sense. Um, so what we're going to do is look for a green-orange piece that should go here or here. We'll find out which one it is after we find it. So look around, find one, here's one, right here. Green-orange, right? So what you need to do is just using outer layer moves, from now on, well, no, sorry disregard that thought. What we're going to need to do is use outer layer moves to get this one on the opposite side, so directly across the center pieces. So we need it to go here or here. We'll find out where it goes eventually. So use outer layer moves. Here it is now. Here it is now. And here it is now. And we're directly opposite. Right? So, you can find out if it's in the right position by just bringing it down real quick, and if it matches, you're good. If, by chance, don't worry about what I'm doing right now, I'm just creating a scenario. If, by chance, it doesn't match, and it's reversed from how it's supposed to be, it's flipped over, then here's what you're going to do. Look at it, turn the back, so now it's on the side. Bring that side down, so now it's on the bottom. Turn the bottom, so now it's in the back. And bring the back around twice, so now it's on the top of the back. And what that did is, it basically moved that piece from here to here. I'll do that again so you can see, because that was probably not a good explanation. Uh, I'll say it to you in notation, if you like, that might make things easier. Um, turn the back clockwise, so B, then turn L counterclockwise, so L prime, turn the down face counterclockwise, so D prime, and then the B face twice, so B squared. And that brings it from this side to this side, and that basically makes it go from being reversed here to being matching here. See? It matches. Okay. So, what we're going to do to get it over here without ruining our centers is first, don't worry about the centers. Just connect it. So now we have two green-orange pieces connected. Right? What we're going to do now is use outer layer moves to get this out of the way so we can fix the centers. Right? Because we can't have random centers scattered all over the place after we just spent so long building them. So, take the front, where these are, turn it off to a side. Either side doesn't matter. So now we're here, right? What we're going to do now is replace this built center in this spot with a center, with, oh, I'm sorry, this built edge, with an edge that's not done yet. So here's one that's not done yet, right? So, watch. So here we have it, right? We're going to connect those two. Turn it off to the side. Whichever side you turn it to, bring that side 
down to replace it. So now we have an unbuilt edge here. Turn the front back. That way, now we can fix the centers without ruining the edge we just built, because now in this, in this spot we've replaced it with one that's not done yet. And there you go. Here we have those two that we just did. The centers are still good. Nothing bad happened. So now we have the other green-orange piece to fit here. Let's see, where is it? If you're going for speed, you should learn how to get used to all the pieces pretty quickly because there are a lot of them. Here it is. Right? So, what we're going to need to do is bring it to this position. But that's not it. There it is. Right? So, what we're going to need to do to bring it from here to here, same move I showed you before. B. L prime. D prime. B squared. Right? And now we have that green orange piece instead of being here, is here so that we can bring it down and connect. Right? So, we're going to connect it, bring it off to a side, either side doesn't matter. I guess I'll show you this side this time, because last time we brought it around to here. So I'm going to bring it here this time, just so you, it still works. So, right, put it off to a side. Now, the built edge, we're going to replace it in this position with one that's not done yet. See, this one is not done yet. Turn it back up to the top, and now we can fix the centers without ruining what we've just done. So there we go, a full built edge. One, two, three, all done. And now you only have to do that with 11 more. <laughs> but don't worry, it goes pretty quickly after you get used to it. That was just a long-winded explanation. I hope I was thorough enough. All right, so now let's do another one. Say green-red, right? So we're going to look for another green-red piece. Here's one. So we're going to need to get it over here. So it just takes a little bit of getting used to to move it around. You'll find new and faster ways to get it where you need it to be. Because don't worry about ruining anything. Because as long as you do outer layer moves, nothing you've already built will, will be ruined. Because any outer layer moves you do anywhere on the whole cube will not screw up a center. And nor will it screw up an edge because all that'll do is just move an edge around. So that, that won't get ruined, neither will the centers. So experiment. Find out what's the fastest way to get pieces in the back across from the center piece you're looking at to line up. Alright, so here we go. Here we have a green red. Here's the green red we're looking at. Does it match? Yes, it does. So we'll turn it off to a side. Either side doesn't matter. Here it is. Replace it with an edge. Oh, see that edge is already done. We don't want to do that because those two match. That's bad. So replace it with a different one. That's all you got to do. Turn it back up top. And fix the centers. That's all there is to it.